See a crest is starting to shape in, it's cleaning up. All feathers are in place, um, but we still have some, some stuff going on here, some horn feathers here. These horn feathers here have to be, can be pulled. I'd like to pull them with the finger in and then try to cut them out. One by one. It's good to blow on the crest, put the feathers back. Again, we have some more pushback feathers here. These are the top scalp feathers that are pushing back. You can see them, that they're growing much. So we need to go in there and cut those out. This takes practice, this takes feel. A good point is that you don't want to go in and and uh, go at a perpendicular or at an angle to the skull. You want to be right against the skull so you don't damage the bird. So I'm just just basically running my scissors horizontal or parallel to the surface. Uh, trimming takes time. It takes a lot of years of practice during the season where the birds are all finished. I recommend that the breeder goes in and, and practices, make your mistakes now. But um, just little by little, uh, you don't, it's better to, to cut out less than too much, then you can't, you can't really correct it. So um, shape here, a more smoother shape, but we have a lot of feathers growing in the crest here. We wanna get rid of those. important to hold the beak so the bird does not move and then do a little bit at a time and we do this little by little we never want to do this all in one sitting sometimes we can pull them in pull them in like this and then we can see them, we can, we can clearly pull them if we need to. Uh, sometimes that's better, so you don't cut too much out. But here we have some push fat back feathers here that I can, I can get in and trim out. We must be careful that we don't damage any feathers right in this little area that will destroy the rosette so we have to be very careful but we can go in and just remove a little bit at a time we can turn on this side and then um, this bird is not in the best condition it's still kind of finishing up but this this these little feathers here we can just go in and remove them okay i'm going to try to remove some of these horn feathers here and clean up and make it a nice even shell on this bird still finishing up a little bit but i want to demonstrate how that's done uh, we need to go in with the with the scissors and just kind of push around and feel where that feather is and then remove it, just like I just did. And these are horn feathers. So again, we still we still have a lot of pushback feathers. You see these here coming that I'm lifting. I'm, I can I can move them with my scissors, and I know where they're at. The object is not to make the ball, the make the bird bald underneath, but just trying to get as many strategic feathers. Um, at this point, I would just leave the bird alone and just let it let it sit for a few hours and then come back to it, work on another bird. But you can see the process, how the the crest is coming forward. And also, you have to also gauge how many feathers the bird has or how much wealth of feather the bird has. So you, you want to uh, 
gauge that, but you can see how nice of a shell crest it's now developing, but still we have a little bit more to go here, but I'm gonna stop here.